Welcome to module six, bleach and other chlorine compounds. During this module, we will review the hazards associated with exposure to sodium hypochlorite and other chlorine disinfectants. This material was produced under grant number SH05046SH8 from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, U.S. Department of Labor. It does not necessarily reflect the views or policies of the U.S. Department of Labor, nor does the mention of trade names, commercial products, or organizations imply endorsement by the U.S. government. Bleach is the most commonly known chlorine cleaner, used in both home and industrial settings. It is inexpensive and readily available. Commercial bleach is a mixture of sodium hypochlorite and water with a range of concentrations, so check the safety data sheet for your specific product usage. Bleach and all chlorine cleaners kill bacteria, fungi, and viruses. However, to be effective, they must be applied in a specific concentration. Your employer will provide you with instruction on how to achieve those concentrations. Because they degrade over time, bleach solutions must be made up daily. Your employer should let you know the locations that bleach is being used and the concentration of bleach being applied in each location. Chlorine compounds can be used in a wide range of concentrations and require 1 to 10 minutes of contact time. Your supervisor should be able to inform you of the proper concentration to be used in your workplace. When chlorine is combined with potassium, sodium, or calcium, it creates a hypochlorite, which is a chemical salt of hypochlorous acid. The pictogram of the test tubes being poured on a hand and surface represents corrosion. This signifies that the chemical may cause eye damage, break down the skin or cause burns, and it may be damaging to certain metals. It is important that whoever is making up or using these compounds ensures that the proper pH acid or caustic, and concentration levels, percent of chlorine, are created because improperly created mixtures can pose an eye and skin irritation hazard and can potentially even be deadly if mixed with an incompatible chemical. It is important to always wear the proper PPE when handling chlorinated mixtures. All chlorinated mixtures can produce irritating or corrosive gas if heated to temperatures above 115 degrees Fahrenheit which poses an immediate health and safety hazard to employees. Chlorine gas is also used when cleaning out food processing piping or vessels in closed systems. Also referred to as cleaning in place or CIP, which means the equipment is not taken apart, but rather cleaned in place with no employee exposure. Chlorine gas is toxic gas with a yellow green color of vapor. One advantage of chlorine chemicals is that all of them are effective sanitizers for clean surfaces, especially stainless steel food contact surfaces. They are inactivated by contact with organic material, however, such as food or blood, so a cleaning step is often required for heavily soiled surfaces before disinfection can occur. The disadvantages include that the mixture concentration has to be correct for the surface and according to the manufacturer's instructions. If mixed at the wrong concentration or percentage, these chemicals can be highly corrosive. Remember, if heated above 115 degrees Fahrenheit, all chlorine chemicals can produce toxic, corrosive chlorine gas that can be fatal if inhaled. Chlorine-based disinfectants and sanitizers are susceptible to losing their disinfecting properties with exposure to temperature, light, and over time. Your employer should ensure that storage locations meet the storage requirements of the chemicals. As mentioned in the previous slide, chlorine compounds are inactivated by any organic material, such as food or blood, so an initial cleaning step is often required for heavily soiled surfaces before disinfection can occur. Your employer should let you know the locations that bleach or other chloride-based chemicals are being used and the concentration that should be applied in each location. Even though bleach is readily available and inexpensive, it does have a dangerous disadvantage. Bleach is incompatible with many other chemicals. Examples are ammonia, acids, hydrogen peroxide, 
some organic solvents, and some metals. Mixing bleach with ammonia releases toxic gases and the reaction or the release may occur violently. Mixing bleach with acid releases chlorine gas. Acids including vinegar and other industrial acids could cause this reaction. Bleach's reaction to acids and ammonia produces chlorine and other toxic gases and should be avoided at all times. Employees have been killed breathing the toxic gases produced when bleach is improperly mixed with incompatible chemicals. The safety data sheet is your best source to verify what chemicals are incompatible with bleach. What are the potential health hazards associated with exposure to bleach and chlorine chemicals? The chemical is slightly corrosive and can irritate the eyes. If you get any of these chemicals in your eyes, get to an eye wash immediately and rinse your eyes well. The respiratory system is also affected by chlorine chemicals and can cause stinging and coughing. It can also irritate or burn the skin. Finally, if you should experience symptoms of discomfort while working with or around chlorine chemicals, notify your supervisor or employee representative immediately. It is your right to work in an environment free of recognized hazards, and you are protected by OSHA for reporting concerns related to health and safety.